Hello everyone. So this video will be about selecting things. It's a very short video. I'll just left click any of these objects in the screen, the light, and it's selected. The camera, it's selected. The cube. I keep shift pressed, I include shift and then left click and you can select multiple items. It's that simple. And then I can hold shift and click this object for instance once again and it's deselected and uh, in the top left there is a little select box so you can just uh, that's active right now so I just left click and drag and I can draw a box and now everything is selected everything in the box everything the box touches basically and I can use shift as well just select one thing hold down shift draw a box around the camera and now both are selected and control if I press control, left click and drag, you can deselect specific objects. Shift, add. So that's basically it. And then if you keep this pressed, this select box here, this option, left click, you can also do that with circle select and lasso select. So you can check that out and see what's what suits you best, but I like this box selection. Now another option to select things is pressing A. Everything is selected. A for all. Alt A, everything is deselected. But I can just also left click in the empty screen somewhere and everything is deselected. I don't know why I need, I need Alt A. The user preferences in edit menu, you can find below here, user preferences, and I marked it with Ctrl Alt U. Okay, that's the short, short key for it. Um, as you can see these view axis we discussed that in the previous video I just delete this search select all is a toggle and I'm gonna save these preferences down here and now let's take a look if I press if I select anything I press A it's deselected press A again and everything is selected press A again everything is deselected so that's basically selection and uh, there's more options to select things if I click here um, select none alt a I'm just gonna right click and remove this shortcut I don't need it that's invert selection but yeah control I that's hardly too hard to do with one hand I don't like it I don't like it I'm gonna change it I right click change shortcut and I press alt a since it's no longer used I can use that for invert selection so now if I select this box for instance and press alt a the selection is inverted. Yay! Well, if we move if we move back to the preferences and once again, I forgot to mention something, which is you can also export your keyboard settings. So I'll just click export, and this time let's call it uh, P02, part 02 of this video, I guess. Then export keyboard. I, I always select all key maps. That might be the safest thing to do. Export key configuration. And now, when you reinstall Blender at some point or work on a different computer, you can bring it on a thumb drive or whatever. And you can work with your keyboard settings, your specific keyboard settings. Just don't import them in a previous version of Blender. I've had some troubles with that up to the point that I had to reinstall Blender. It crashed. So only with uh, current versions or newer versions you can export this setting import this setting so let's import a key setting here P02 import key configuration and now you can see here you can work with blender or P02 and then uh, I can just click minus and then this keyboard configuration is uh, gone again so and that kind of concludes what I want to say actually so I'll see you later, I guess, with the next video. And uh, don't forget to like if you find this video any way constructive or whatever. And if you want to see more of these, then just subscribe, of course. You know the drill. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, until later.